Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story from 2016, directed by Gareth Edwards, and of course the first in the Star Wars anthology films. Uh, so yes, we are back once again, ready to discuss Rogue One, of course. A spoiler warning for this discussion, if you haven't seen this film, I'd simply recommend seeing it and then come back to this uh, video, we can go from there, we can talk about this film in the comments, and um, I look forward to that. So yes, with all that said, let's dig into my thoughts on this film, and uh, yes, an interesting film. Uh, we'll go back to my first experience, of course, uh, of seeing this film, uh, you know, at the time, uh, you know, hearing it, of course, in between the, the kind of sequel films, um, we would get, you know, these kind of standalone films that obviously do tie in uh, different things in the universe uh, and are re definitely relevant to, uh, you know, obviously the Star Wars films, um, but, you know, they are standalone films and, uh, you know, I heard we're getting these in between, you know, the sequels. Um, so even though they are kind of separate, um, you know, obviously they do have now, we have Andor, um, the series, um, you know, following Cassie and Andor from this film. So it's, it's kind of, there is more, of course, that came. Um, but really, it's still a standalone film. Um, and I thought, despite that, you know, it's definitely a lot of Star Wars, uh, you know, kind of coming all at once, uh, you know, and um, for many, many years, there was, there was no Star Wars films. And then suddenly, um, The Force Awakens, and then all these films come at once. Um, it was definitely a lot, um, you know, I thought. Um, but I was definitely hyped for this film originally, and... Um, yeah, just obviously we have in the opening crawl of A New Hope, um, I'd always seen, you know, this describing, um, you know, very um, briefly, you know, kind of about the Death Star plans, and, you know, um, this is the film that kind of um, shows, um, you know, how the Death Star plans were stolen um, by this team, uh, and then, you know, into the hands of the Rebel Alliance, uh, obviously their first kind of significant, um, you know, win, I guess, against the Empire, um, so it's a, a very, you know, important mission, you know, and it, it, was, it was cool that they actually finally went ahead and, you know, showed this, um, but yeah, so I was, I was hyped for this, and then seeing it, um, originally, um, I must say I didn't like the film, um, I found it to be very boring, and, um, you know, I still, um, you know, in a nutshell, um, I've seen it, you know, uh, a few times now, it's my third viewing, um, recently, and, uh, yes, I must say, it's still, you know, it is overall an underwhelming film, um, for what it could have been, just for me personally, and, um, I'm not, you know, it's taken me um, a few watches to kind of come around to this. Um, well, my second watch, I enjoyed it, um, but you know, it's still not really uh, a, a Star Wars film that I'm big on um, personally. Uh, you know, I do still find it to be boring at times um, and just overall bland. Um, and you know, I think kind of going through the motions. You know, just as a viewer for me, I feel that. Um, you know, I think it takes quite a while for me to actually fully care about the characters. Um, you know, and actually say, you know, kind of can say that I'm enjoying the film. Uh, I think the first half especially, um, you know, it's just, it is not a for me, it's not um, something that I enjoy, um, really, there's a couple of moments, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's definitely a film that, um, I think it's kind of, you know, it, it does, you know, what it sets out to do, um, but it just does it lacks, first of all, as well, the Star Wars feel, I know it's this kind of prequel standalone film, um, showing this, this, uh, you know, you, you could say it's just a mission, uh, but it is a Star Wars film, and it is kind of um, a very, very big, um, you know, events, uh, really, and, uh, you know, I just, I've always found, personally, just for me, for my liking, it doesn't really feel, it doesn't have that charm, um, you know, it lacks a charm to the characters, uh, mostly, um, you know, until, you know, we do have the final act, um, and it really picks up, um, but, you know, it's, it's still not very charming, you know, um, overall, um, the characters aren't that, you know, vibrant, really, for me, and they are, overall, at times, quite bland, um, but, yes, you know, we start out, of course, with the opening scene, we see um, Jin Erso, um, of course, it's an eight-year-old uh, girl, and she's basically, you see her mother die, um, you know, you see Galen Erso, who is played by Matt Mikkelsen, um, you know, kind of, um, we don't really see at first um, what happens um, to him, you know, in the opening scene, um, but of course, Ben Mendelsohn uh, as Krennic, um, you know, he comes and, um, yeah, basically, the mother is killed, and, and Matt Mikkelsen is just separated from, um, of course, uh, Jin, and, um, She's taken in, we see, by um, Forrest Whitaker's character of um, Saw, and, um, you know, Saw is kind of, he does, um, we learn, you know, kind of, um, uh, kind of train her up and, and teach her the ways, and, um, you know, he, he looks after her. Um, of course, we cut ahead 15 years later, and uh, that is the main bulk of the film. Um, you know, roughly a week before uh, A New Hope, um, you know, in the timeline, you know, the actual main bulk of the film, and, um, yeah, it, it's a very um, simple film, uh, you know, in the way it's done. Although, you know, kind of um, convoluted in some of the dialogue uh, in the way they're kind of explaining things. Um, but, you know, you, you kind of watch the film and it is, you know, this simple mission, really, um, and, and seeing the team-up of these characters um, who are 
eventually do, um, you know, they are successful in their mission, although they do, um, of course, as we know, die um, in this um, sacrifice mission, um, you know, and all these characters that we see throughout the film, um, you know, we come to know, um, obviously, we kind of knew that, obviously, um, anyway, but still it is, you know, kind of uh, going for this kind of tragic element, uh, you know, and this whole sacrifice, um, you know, for what would eventually be, um, you know, uh, victory, you know, as we know, um, of, of the rebels and um, over the empire. So it's a very um, interesting film uh, in the way it kind of sets things up. Um, I'm just not big, you know, on the characters at first. Um, we do have um, Felicity Jones playing Jun Erso, um, and of course we have Diego Luna um, as uh, Cassian Andor. Andor is an interesting character, uh, you know, at times. Um, he really does come into his own, you know, in the final act though, kind of reveals more emotion, um, you know, I found, and uh, the performances. Generally, you know, I, I think um, they are good. Um, it's just the way the characters are written, um, mainly for me, and you know, how it's not really revealing uh, too much emotions, uh, too much humanity at times. Um, they are attempts, of course, at, throughout the film um, to show humanity and emotion, um, but you know, I just think it's very, it is definitely very, uh, you know, kind of flat at times uh, emotionally for me. Uh, you know, I think the dialogue, just the characters, um, you know, they're not, they're certainly not blowing me away um, every time I, I see this film. Um, I think the standout is Riz Ahmed, um, you know, his character, and, um, you know, I do think, um, you know, because he is just a bit more wacky, you know, his performance at Riz Ahmed, and uh, he brings, you know, a, a particular level of comedy to the film, um, you know, and charm straight away, you know, whenever I see his character, I do, um, you know, it's kind of funny, and um, it's a bit more, just a bit something more to it, you know, energetic, um, so, you know, I'm always a fan of uh, Riz Ahmed, you know, he's great, and uh, it's, it's cool to see him in this film. Donnie Yen as well, um, the character doesn't start off uh, too great, but, you know, in the end, he does come into his own, and, um, you know, repeating different lines, of course, throughout the film, which at first is annoying, and then, you know, he does, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, there's kind of a cool moment, you know, in the, in the final act, um, you know, and just, um, yeah, I, d I did feel somewhat, you know, of, of emotions for his character, um, Donnie Yen, and, um, we have a few fight sequences with Donnie Yen, and um, some of them are not great, you know, over, over kind of choreographed, um, and, you know, not enough impact um, for me, um, but then there is one uh, later on in the film which is, is quite good. Um, and yeah, you know, most of the characters, um, you know, they're just kind of underwhelming for me, they're quite bland. Um, K2SO as well, um, this of course robot. Now, you know, I obviously I have criticised um, Jar Jar Binks, um, you know, in, in the prequels, you know, for being too annoying, you know, too kind of, uh, you know, it just, any of the comedy with, with Jar Jar Binks um, didn't work for me at all. Um, and then we have, you know, the kind of, um, the opposite end of, you know, this kind of um, sidekick character. Attempts at comedy there, um, and it's just not really enough. It's not very funny at all. Um, you know, really, none of the comedy lands, not because it's annoying, irritating, and too far. Um, the opposite, you know, it just doesn't really hit uh, the notes for me. Um, a charming enough, um, you know, kind of character, um, you know, I felt a little bit of something there, um, but really the comedy and attempts of comedy that just doesn't um, really land at all for me. Um, so there we go. And it is, you know, it's a, it's a film that does at times feel a bit lifeless in that sense. Um, now, after the first hour of the film, um, we kind of have more meetings and the characters are developed a bit more um, somewhat. We do have, of course, um, you know, I do start liking the film, um, you know, it's, Kind of interesting to see Galen again, um, you know, an interaction between um, Matt Nicholson, of course, and Felicity Jones there, um, you know, it's, it's mildly interesting there, and I do think the performances, you know, at times, you know, in the second half are good, of course, um, you know, some some emotion um, there, and um, yeah, we do have, um, you know, it, interesting as well at times, um, seeing different planets, um, and of course, um, Jeddah as well. That's not a sequence really, though, um, the action stuff in Jeddah first that, that I was big on at all, um, you know, just, um, and, and some kind of attempts to kind of, you know, emotion there that didn't work for me, it was, it was a bit forced, um, and just, um, yeah, on the nose, um, that's, a few of the things in this film are a bit on the nose, you know, like they keep saying the word hope, um, you know, that, that's fine of course, but it's just the way it's done, it's just, it's a bit on the nose, and it's a bit, yeah, okay, I, I get, you know, what's going on here. The last act though, um, when we come to that, you know, I do, um, you know, enjoy quite a bit, you know, the final act, um, we have, um, you know, the characters come into their own, as I've said. Um, the action here is definitely a lot better and um, it's actually very engaging at times. Uh, the, the visuals to the film are, you know, at their best here. And uh, I think throughout the film, one thing I do praise, you know, is, is the way, um, you know, Gareth Edwards, um, you know, and his team 
of course, kind of um, showing scale. Um, it's definitely very, um, you know, at times more inspiring. Uh, you know, I do think, um, you know, the final act, uh, the way the attacks are shown um, coming out, of course, of the, of the smoke there, and, you know, first revealed, um, that's a very epic moment. Um, you know, I think generally the way he's kind of um, showing scale, um, you know, the way it's shot um, at times is very impressive. Um, so I do, um, you know, I do praise that. And uh, the action, you know, in the final act is, you know, it's engaging throughout, you know, I, I do think um, that's the best, easy, the best part of the film, uh, when it's just more of a, a kind of an action film. The characters are, you know, they're kind of interacting, but more, it's just more to it, you know, more to um, the interactions, um, you know, kind of um, the emotions of the film uh, are kind of um, shown here. Um, it opens up a bit, and um, before that, it's just a bit too bland for me. Um, and uh, although, you know, the, the final act I do enjoy quite a bit, you know, it's just um, at first and for more than an hour, really, I didn't, I didn't really enjoy the film. And, uh, you know, I think considering that, you know, it only gets so far into the kind of life mark. Um, it, it just can't, um, you know, kind of go higher. And, um, you know, I didn't love the final act, but I did enjoy the final act. And I thought it was um, good at times, um, you know, some, some good action in there and, um, you know, some attempts to kind of link in this to a new hope uh, in an interesting way. Obviously, we do have the um, Vader scenes as well. Um, so, yeah, Darth Vader's uh, being shown in this film, um, you know, uh, with dialogue and everything. And, and um, that was a big moment, of course, when I first saw it. Um, and, you know, I do, I think, you know, there's, there's something as well, it's just a bit lacking in his scenes. Um, although we do have that, that action scene there when, um, you know, of course, he's taking out different um, rebels there. And, um, you know, it's, it's quite, you know, brutal and, um, and shocking. And, um, it, you know, I do enjoy that scene as well. You know, that's that's, that's a good scene um, when he's kind of taking him out there. It's just, you know, very tense and um, quite haunting uh, in the way it's done. Obviously, there uh, killing loads of people, and um, yeah, I think you know, generally his um, his appearances in this film, uh, you know, are overall fine, um, but, but it could have been more. Um, but you know, that that moment there with you know the action scene there, the kind of um, and then that is that is very good, uh, to, you know. I guess, and um, it's one of the highlights of the film. You know, in that final act, um, we do have all the characters dying, and then the very very final moments, um, we have of course Carrie Fisher, um, you know, appearing obviously CGI'd um, there, and yes, basically, um, you know, then receiving the plans, and uh, you know, the, the final line of the film is hope. Um, so. Yeah, it does obviously link into um, A New Hope there. So yes, overall, I do enjoy this film. Um, you know, I think, as I've said, by the time the final act comes around, um, I cared more about the characters and I did enjoy the action and um, just the, the scale of it, you know, the kind of, um, the effects, um, you know, at times are very good and, um, you know, it's kind of, it's nice and bright as well, you know, in that, in that final um, act, you know, the, the set piece there and, um, you know, it's, it's definitely something that, because previously the film, um, at times, you know, some scenes in the rain as well, it's a bit dull, um, you know, it's just, it wasn't, you know, that vibrant and um, it didn't really speak to me visually at times. Uh, although there's a, a sense of scale to it throughout, uh, you know, and very impressive um, effects. It just wasn't, you know, really, this, this wasn't bright enough, vibrant enough for me. And uh, the final act, it really is showcasing that and it is um, much more engaging. I do enjoy consistently the final act, uh, you know, and a bit more than that of the film. And um, I think characters like Andor and, uh, of course, Jinnur, so, um, you know, are... In the end, you know, I did um, care about these characters, um, but it took a while, um, you know, to really care about these, especially two main characters there. Um, you know, some of the characters I wasn't big on, you know, throughout, um, you know, really. Um, but Ben Mendelsohn, uh, you know, as Krennic, uh, does keep keep the film alive as well, you know, being the kind of, you know, the main villain in this film. Obviously, we do have as well, you know, the CGI'd uh, Peter Cushing, um, of course, uh, Grand Moff Tarkin, um, you know, as, you know, kind of, he's quite in, in quite a lot of the film here, and uh, the CGI is just, um, you know, it is off-putting for me, and um, you know, it's it's very strange. It kind of would affect on me, um, but you know, you know, legendary character, of course, um, uh, you know, legendary actor Peter Cushing, um, but of course, it is CG'd here, um, and it's just it is just off-putting in the way it's done. Um, so that's one of the things as well. You know, some of the CG in this film, uh, you know, is it's definitely it takes me out of the experience. Um, but you know, generally, I do think uh, Ben Mendelsohn, um, you know. It's quite a kind of um, a charming villain performance, um, so that was uh, yeah, something I enjoyed throughout as well. And um, in the final act, I do enjoy you know the satisfying nature of, of how that kind of um, you know resolves there. And um, but you know we do have of course um, the sacrifice uh, being showed, you know in an effective way of, of this team, um, you know and how it does mean something as well. You know how the sacrifice um, leads into a new hope, and of course that is 
massively um, important. Um, so yeah, we do have a film that I enjoy in the end. Um, you know, I think the whole final act and more I did consistently enjoy. Um, until that, you know, especially the first hour, I thought it was mediocre actually. Um, you know, mostly, and uh, it was it was quite underwhelming. Some attempts at comedy didn't work, uh, as I said. Uh, an overall sense of blandness um, just for me personally. I couldn't get engaged. Um, never have. You know, even though I've seen it three times, I just can't get engaged in that first hour really. And um, overall. It's not a film I'm mad on, um, but I do think overall it's a, it's a, a solid film. You know, I think, um, you know, some of the characters I did enjoy and uh, the visuals, you know, are very impressive uh, for the most part. Um, some some elements are not there, um, you know, like the CGI, um, you know, for some of the characters, of course. And, um, you know, just generally it does have a sense, um, uh, you know, of dull visuals. Um, but there is some really good visuals uh, in the film as well, so I do praise it. Um, the use of music is... Um, it's good as well, you know. I do enjoy the music, and um, yeah, it's a very, it's a unique feel. The, the music in this one, uh, definitely. Um, no opening crawl, of course. Um, and yeah, just um, a standalone film that does obviously um, tie together different Star Wars elements. It doesn't really feel like a Star Wars film, though. It does. It still lacks that sense of ma uh, magic and and wonder, and um, just any kind of Star Wars feel really, other than a couple of moments. Um, so. Overall, I do enjoy it, but I have very mixed feelings on this one. Um, and I don't think um, it's a one that I'm huge on personally um, but yes my final rating for this film for Rogue One is a 62 percent um, so yeah I do enjoy this one you know it definitely um, reaches the point where I'm consistently enjoying it and um, you know it makes up for the for me you know um, dull first act um, you know the first half really um, with the, the final act uh, you know and how things do eventually um, come together um, so Rogue One is a solid film you know I do enjoy this um, you know you know it's definitely not um, you, you know um, the worst Star Wars film, that's for sure. Um, but, but yes, you know, it's, it's the one that I've just not really ever fully um, been huge on, and it's not something I connect to, you know, for, for elements of the film. Um, you know, it's just the one that personally for me doesn't really reach that that level, um, you know, as well of Star Wars at all. Um, but you know, it, it's it's a fine film. I do enjoy it, as I've said. Um, you know, that's my thoughts. I enjoy Rogue One. I think it's um, a, pr a pretty solid film with underwhelming aspects. You know, um, not the the most interesting of characters overall. Um, not the not the most um, you know epic of action either. Um, although definitely um, it is quite strong in the final act. Um, and just you know I think um, as a Star Wars film, as a standalone kind of um, anthology film, it's fine, but it's it's not mind blowing to me. And uh, you know it's just never it's never something I've you know enjoyed that much. Um, but I do I do enjoy the film obviously yes, but but not to the point where I, you know, I really like or love this film. Uh, but yes, that's just my personal thoughts. What do you think of this film? Um, what do you think of Rogue One? And um, let's discuss Star Wars, of course. I look forward to that respectfully in the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, more, more to come, of course. Um, recently putting up my Force Awakens review, um, so that's there if, if you're interested in that. And then a heads up, um, The Last Jedi will come in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, so watching that very soon again, re-watching that. Yes, The Last Jedi, a very um, fascinating film as well, and um, I'll be talking about that um, next in terms of Star Wars. Um, so there we have it. For now, that's my thoughts, and uh, what do you think would be great to hear? And um, yes, look forward to, of course, uh, more Star Wars content on the channel. Uh, so yes, as always, take care, and thanks for watching.